DJ, DJ Mike, C. Mike C on the track. Cause they're you natural. Lady D. I keep my game tapped. Yo, yeah. I'm so nappy and mopey. Cause they're be. Hey guys, welcome back to Afros and Baby Hairs and today I'm going to be showing you how to secure a wee ponytail using a crocheting technique. Um, these are the products that I'll be using which is this mannequin head. This is an actual training head and as you can see this is an all human hair 100% Afro training head. I do have some Florida water that I'm going to cleanse it with since it is human hair. So I did put some in the spray bottle so that I can spray it. Also, I'll be using this herbal essence, this shea moisture, castor oil, some eco style gel, and some water, along with some Ozzy Moist 3 Minute Miracle and some Kinecoline uh, brain and hair, as well as my tube. So right here, you will see me um, spraying the hair with some Florida water, which is just some liquid sage just to cleanse any energies attached to this hair. I'm not sure whose head this came off of, but I just want to cleanse it. So I'm just spraying it all around the hair to get rid of any negative energies or any unwanted energies that, that is attached to this hair. So once I did that, I went on and shampooed the hair and conditioned the hair. And now I'm about to apply some um, actual uh, Ozzy Moist to this hair and let it sit for a few minutes just so that it can soften up a bit. When I got it, it was shedding, it was kind of coarse. Um, the packaging said that um, it had been cleaned with some type of chemical cleanser, so I guess it made the hair really coarse. So I just wanted to soften it up a bit and stop some of the shedding that I've been experiencing with this hair. So right here, I'm just applying the Ozzy Moist. And once I apply it to each section of hair, I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and let it sit for a few moments. So now we're about to start the uh, styling process. I did go ahead and rinse that Ozzy Moist out. And now I'm just spraying the hair with some water and brushing it all the way through. Now I'm splitting the hair in two sections so that I can apply the Shea Moisture, restore and strengthen uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Styling Lotion. So I'm going to apply this to both sections and brush it through. Now 
and after I brush it through on both sides I'm gonna go back in with some castor oil just add a little bit of shine and to lock in this moisture that I've applied and I'm going to brush that through as well So I'm thinking that this is some uh, perm hair or relaxed hair, not um, natural hair, as you can tell because it's so straight and stringly. But anyway, um, I am having a bit of a problem with this stand as well. It didn't come with a stand, so I used the extra stand that I had in my house. So it's kind of defective, but you know we're gonna make it do what it do. But anyway. Now I'm going in with the uh, Eco Style Gel with the Organ Oil just to try to slick the hair down a bit because we are doing a ponytail, a wee ponytail. So we're just going to slick the hair as best as possible and then gather it all into a ponytail. And I do have some scrunchies that I'm using for this style. You can use whatever you know you uh, have available or whatever you like to use on your hair because this uh, particular scrunchie will be covered once we're done. So now we're going to brush this all the way through and then proceed to make plaits. I made about four plaits with this particular uh, ponytail. So you're just going to plait the hair up. Depending on how much hair you have, you may not need four plaits. You can either use more or less. But we're just plaiting the hair so that we can crochet the uh, extensions in or the weave in. So this is how it looks once you have the four plaits in that particular ponytail. So we're going to lift the hair up and create a secondary bun the bun is what we're going to be crocheting the hair to so the excess hair you just wrap around and pin it down you can also add another scrunchie to that particular section some hair pins or whatever you can crochet hair into that particular hair as well but you have to make sure that it's secure. So I'm only using pins for the hair that's wrapped around. I feel like this bun is secure enough to hold all this hair together. And now we're going to proceed with crocheting the hair in. So you take small little sections of hair and crochet them in to the braided hair or the plaited hair that you created. I did go ahead and do a little bit off camera because this is, um, it takes a little bit of time. So I wanted to uh, do some of it off camera and then come back and finish the process on camera so the video wouldn't be so long. But as you can see, you're just crocheting it into the hair that you braided or plaited, the bun hair. And this will allow the ponytail to be very secure. You can run, you can play, you can jump, you can dance, you can do, you know, your normal activities without worrying about whether your hair is going to come out or not. And the smaller sections of hair you're crocheting in the better so you won't have that bulky look but I'm doing uh, basically medium size they could be a lot smaller but you know this is not on my head this is just for demonstration purposes only trial and error research and development <laughs> 
And since we're on the subject, uh, I do want to say this is a new playlist that I have created, a new series just for trials and um, research and development purposes. That's why I did go ahead and purchase this particular training head so that I could practice different styles. I may get a natural hair uh, mannequin head as well just to practice a few styles before that before i try them on my own hair or my daughter's hair or anyone else's hair i will have an opportunity to try them out first and hopefully this will help someone else out there so you just continue on with crocheting the hair in i think right here I'm going to crochet some hair onto this particular uh, piece of the uh, scrunchie that is showing and use that particular uh, section to wrap around the ponytail to conceal any portion of the ponytail that I don't want to show which is actually the braids that are wrapped around. So that is what I'm using this particular piece of hair for. You just wrap it around and cover the actual plaits that you have wrapped around the bun. And, the, and just secure this with hair pin. So now I'm just going in and filling in anywhere I feel like needs a bit more hair. Anything that needs to be covered. To make it look full and, you know, make it look decent. see this is how it's looking I'm moving the head around so that you can see that this is not going anywhere this is a secure ponytail that you don't have to worry too much about and now I'm just brushing the hair if the hair does seem to get a bit tangled or you know a little frizzy looking you can take a dryer with a comb or brush attachment uh, attachment and put it on low heat and you can stretch the hair back out as long as you have it on low heat it will be fine so now I'm just showing you you can change it up and wear it in different styles you know this is the uh, hair that actually uses hot water so you can you know perm ride it up whatever you know and just dip it in some hot water for it to set, you can plait it up, make crinkles, and just dip the ends in hot water. You know, whichever way you know you would like to do it, just make sure you don't burn yourself. And now I'm just showing you another bun that you can put this hair in. So yeah guys, um, this is about it for this video. I do want to thank you all for tuning in today. I really appreciate your time and energy. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace and love. And as always, be blissful. DJ, DJ Mike, C. Mike C on the track. track. Cause there be natural Lady D. Ain't looking tacky Black. I keep my game tacky Yo, yeah I'm so nappy I'm all big Cause there be natural The infamous Ain't looking tacky Cause I keep my game tacky oh, I'm so pretty I'm so fat boo I'm so natural It's like it's a taboo I'm so filthy Got the tattoos Fuckin' these bitches Like I own ragu On my business With my platoon Give me these minutes Like I'm a typo Y'all is jersey On that cartoon And I'm sitting on top With these buffoons I'm so nappy I'm so nappy I see dudes